And it's game time. Kind X5 here. Unreal Norse mixed TDM slash dual European Cup dealie that we're doing today. Round four. This is going to be the second map of SH versus Indian 9 WKI. Rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's going to be best of three. Um, in theory, these teams are going to play, you know, essentially best of three, but the tiebreaker would be a one on one map. Last match didn't happen that way. They just went ahead and played two on two again. So we'll see what happens. I don't think I've ever casted this map in Team Deathmatch or anything other than CTF Ages, so i um, going to have to remember what the flow of this map is like when it's chopped in half like this. I don't actually know where the power-ups are, to be honest with you. Um, luckily, I have some fancy little binds that'll pop it right up for me. That's going to be your amp. Oh, I see. So that'll be amp. That'll be 100, I believe. One or the other. We'll try to keep, keep on top of them. We'll get a view of where everything is. And Blue jumping out to a big lead, or to a, a quick lead here. Exact opposite of what happened on campgrounds. On the campgrounds, we saw Red Team just jump out to, I don't know, about a 10 frag lead within the first five minutes. And that gave them the boost of the adrenaline advantage. And so they were able to jump into their boosters earlier. And they just used that to basically push Red Team, or push Blue Team, rather, completely off of all the power ups. But this time, we'll see. Uh, maybe SH can jump out. At the very least, stick with them early on and maybe pull a couple more power-ups out. One of the problems I have seen from SH is that they're opting to run independently uh, for the most part. They're not really running together, which can work. I mean, you can sort of weave around each other. Um, you can move around. You can actually get more pickups controlled separately than you can running as one group. However, that only works if you have really good communication uh, to avoid running into some double teams. And right now, Not has 50 armor and an amp. And he's going to do some damage with that. Once again, this isn't a... It's not as cramped a map as Campgrounds, but it's not much bigger of a map. However, it is more wide open, so uh, like I was saying before, it will favor people who like to tape down that Shock and LG primary. Oh, you see a, essentially a spawn kill coming out there. Not an easy move to make. That's That spawn's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Blue team able to take that 100 armor down there. F-51 just pinging him with that shock primary. It's a bit harder to escape in this map, and harder to break line of sight, um, but there are some twists and turns to it. It's certainly not a fully wide open map by any means. It's essentially a big mid-range map. So blue team still maintaining that lead. Pretty much everyone in the game right now is down to uh, 50 health or less. And to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure how many vials are on this version of this map, but I don't think there's a lot. So you're going to see a situation, kind of what we saw on campgrounds, whereas unlike those uh, you know, maps like, say, Rankin, where you have just a ton of vials everywhere, people are going to be below 100 health very often. Oh, Amp spawns right there. Didn't see... Did anybody get to grab it? Yes, looks like a red team got it. It's going to be F51. Jumping here, he has 50 armor in the Amp. Not sure who stole that 100 armor, or not sure if he stole that 100 armor. And I'm not able to grab it, so Red now in great position. They're both relatively stacked as far as this map is concerned, and they have the amp. So SH needs to decide if they're going to run away or try to negate this. It looks like they're just going to play the avoidance game. They need to be on the same page, though, so whatever they do, they need to do it together. There we go. They're throwing out some flak, doing a little bit of damage from around the corner from a safe distance. Ooh, a flak ball gets blocked by the shield, or was that a dud? Either way, it doesn't do full damage. Gummy... Probably sad facing on that one. As F51 gets hit down to 24 health, <laughs> tries a long range prediction combo. And uh, waiting on this 100 armor outside now. There it is. Next one will be up at 50. And uh, blue team now, kind of what we saw in campgrounds. Once they got shaken up, they really weren't able to contest the 100 armor on there either. However, the amp on this map is a little bit easier to to uh, to fight people off of, so maybe they'll have better luck on that. Because we didn't really see... Oh, as you see the booster on the amp, F-51. It's going to be bad news for SH as we see them uh, running around the map. They have to know this is coming, so maybe they'll just try to keep their distance, but... Oof. And again, DN9WKI, however you pronounce that. 
making use of the amp, and this is what we saw in campgrounds too, is they were able to make sustained amp runs, getting multiple kills with amps. You see a rampage coming out there, the amped headshot, pretty nasty. Shield is gonna. Oh, and another one coming out. Back to back amped headshots by F51. And this map doesn't give you a whole lot of room to hide. I think if you're gonna if you're gonna shield charge the uh, the booster, I think it's a little bit late for that. You should have done that about a minute and a half ago. So red just completely taken over the map right now with that boosted amp run, and that's something that you know SH is perfectly capable of. We've seen especially Gummy go on some really hot streaks on campgrounds, but they weren't able to do it with amp and with with power ups. And so anytime you're jumping into another team and they've got double the damage, extra armor, and all that, obviously you're not gonna be able to do a whole lot no matter how well you're shooting. Oh, and another headshot coming out by F51. She's absolutely on fire right now, as are the blue team's heads. Um, but, of course, he misses the easy shot at Gummy's back. So, And is that another headshot? Is that four headshots here coming out by F51? So we're going to stick with F51 for now just to see if he continues this hot streak. We do hear a booster coming out. I'm going to presume... Yep, that that's going to be his teammate because blue team right now with only 11 kills. Another amp booster going on. F51 dominating now. He's actually going to make his way towards another booster himself. And uh, as anyone who's played TDM knows, once you start getting multiple boosters, you know how quickly things can stack up onto each other because it's very difficult to push uh, a double boosted team off of these power-ups. And SH right now hasn't had a kill in a while. If you've seen two amped LG runs, or amped... Uh, booster runs in a row by red team and that's really what's been putting them over the top in fact that's really the difference because they've gotten basically uh, seven to eight kills off of each one looks like the boosters have ceased so uh, blue can go back to trying to sort of collect themselves and I think what they need to do at this point is try to wrangle because you'll notice what DN9 DN WKI what they're doing right now is running independently but since they have the health and the pit and the power-ups they're not scared, you know. They can they can actually take SH on two on one right now. So that's what SH needs to do is try to cut them off two on one, and make them fight two people at once, and maybe get some of that damage in. Because right now they're doing a real, um, I'll say methodical job of breaking down these boosters. As uh, F51 still now not that not down to 100 health yet, and another headshot comes in. Fifth one we've seen for F51 in the past what four and a half minutes. Catches this spawner out here. I think Cold M has a chance to get away here. Oh, he goes in the wrong entrance. Dives right into the alcove. Spawn respawns right in front of him. But F51 finally down to 40 health. They may actually be able to take him out here if they turn around and take a shot. They're fighting over this 100 armor. But Knott's going to be able to take it. However, Red Team is, is finally broken down. They're both under 100 health. For the first time in I, who knows how long. Those boosters that came in really benefited them. And of course... With all those killing sprees they've gone on, they're actually going to be very close to boosting again. They may actually have it, and they may be saving it for an opportune moment, like uh, whenever they get stacked back up to 100 health. So a big push by Red early on, not dominating now. So both players uh, have gone on dominating runs, or I guess they're dominating simultaneously. One goes down. I think F51 is, is a couple kills away from Unstoppable, if I'm not mistaken. There you go, one kill away from Unstoppable. Was that actually a crater kill? Yep, crater kill off that combo. Amp's coming up. He's going to grab it. He's only got 80 health, so... Blue team now, uh, SH does have a chance to do some damage. I feel like F51's probably close to boosting, and with that amp, he may be pulling it soon. Hunter does get taken. It looks like Gummy finally stole one away. I think that may be the first Hunter armor they've got in this game. And there you go. Finally able to take out F51. That's going to end that dominating spree. And uh, in that amp run, more importantly... Maybe give these guys some momentum. But what we saw what we saw uh, red team doing that blue team isn't doing is converting spawn kills off of off of the uh, the first kills. So Gummy now completely stacked. He needs to be aggressive here. He needs to start running after these spawns. You know, it could be that they just don't know this map as well, and they may not know where the spawns are. Because we certainly saw red team uh, able to Oh, is it Gummy decides to is he boosting? Completely stacked. He decides to boost again. Kind of a curious move. Um, I would have thought he would have at least waited for an amp run for that because he's not getting anything out of this booster unless he just dives right on the 100 armor. Exactly what he does. He can force the issue here. Just dive at him and shoot rockets. He can take these guys 2-1-1. Gets a double kill. 
jumps right through the 100 armor. I don't think he realizes 100 armor is still up, at least on my screen. He certainly didn't grab it. He needs to get this next amp, though. Red Team's not going to be able to fight him off of that amp. If I were cold him, I would definitely give this amp to Gummy. Feed him this. He's completely stacked. Actually kills his teammate off it. Oh, it gets grabbed by F-51. He needs to turn around and negate this. He's got the health to do it. And I don't think F-51 does. Oh, uh, but he can't make any shots. And that's tough. Sometimes when you've got a player right in your face, uh, it just makes things infinitely harder to hit. And F-51 with an assault rifle and Oh, wow. An assault rifle amp grenade to the face. That's just uh, humiliating right there. Essentially just loses the lottery there. And uh, F-51 now boosting with that amp. Doesn't do anything with the amp. That 100 number, I believe, is still up from when Gummy jumped through it. So that's going to throw off the timing. I think Cold M saw it taken, so they should know when it's spawning. But a little bit awkward there. Uh, however, F-51, if he can keep rolling kills off of this off of this spree, picking up adrenaline, it really doesn't matter if he gets gets damaged because that, that assault rifle grenade is going to do nothing because it's going to be right back up to 150 health off this adrenaline. So a 30 frag lead now, just past the halfway point. Cold M just not making shots now. Um, once you go down like this, it can be a little bit demoralizing to the point that it's actually harder to concentrate on your shots. And uh, I think this game, you know, it's not mathematically over, but I feel like uh, SH is probably mentally out of this one. But we'll see if they continue to, to contest these power-ups. They really haven't done much with that amp, and I think that's, again, what hurt them on campgrounds and what's hurting them here. It's not that they're not contesting it. It's that when they do get it, they're getting killed immediately or they're just, they're just not making any runs with it. Whereas uh, Red Team, whenever they get kills, and especially whenever they get amps, they're able to convert them into multiple kills. And so you're not just getting one kill at a time, you're getting two, three, four kills at a time. And that's what's going to lead to those long sprees, which leads to the adrenaline, which leads to the booster, and it all just snowballs from there. So F-51 not doing much with that amp run. Good job of evading by SH. But with uh, under eight minutes to go, down by... 33. Evasion is only going get, to gonna get you so far. It's, it's okay if you want to slow this game down, try to collect yourself, maybe uh, maybe come up with a specific strategy you want to try, but if SH wants to make this... Uh oh, it sounds like my sound is out of whack. So hopefully that catches back up with us, but yeah, if SH wants to make a game of this at all, they, they need to start running as a pair and trying to pick off Red Team one at a time. And you know what? Th those amps really need to come into play. Hunter Armor comes up, F-51 gets it pretty much uncontested. Now it's going to take some shots at Gummy's back, take him out. Does spawn right on that flat cannon, so we'll be able to help out of this amp should he so choose. Comes around that corner from Goo, and nobody's home. I get some shots at Knott's back. He actually, nice patience there. Sneaks all the way up to him without taking a shot, just to run right up to him and try to get a full flag on him. Doesn't get the full flag, but does get a lot of damage on him. And Blue Team may finally be able to uh, control this amp, but it looks like they don't really have the weapons to sustain anything. Gummy taking the slow route up there. Does grab that shock rifle. Really needs some health, though. And it looks like they decided to take control of that amp area with just a little bit of a timing. Ooh. There's a nice prediction combo by Gummy. Doesn't get the kill, but does do some damage. Sounds like 100 armor got taken. I did hear a booster. Not took the 100. F-51's not boosting, so it's gonna be cold in. This will be a chance here because Red Team's not boosting. They're not particularly stacked. They don't have any amps. This is a chance for them to uh, to try to try to turn this around a little bit. Not goes on a killing spree, killing Gummy, but there you go. Kill coming in by Cold M, able to take him out. They need to start pushing for these power ups now. Didn't catch the timing of the amp. We heard it end. And so it should be relatively soon. But I think they're going to try to uh, go ahead and control this 100, ar 100 armor area, which is really tough given how open it is. You've got open areas to the left and right, so you're really vulnerable to hit scan. And then, of course, you can sneak in and steal it from the bottom. So 100 armor on this map, fairly difficult to control. Red Team's done a pretty good job of it. Sounds like they got both power-ups there. Headshot coming in, but uh, yeah, they're looking at amp and 100 armor shoot or shooting them. Right in the face while his teammate's not really around him. Unfortunately, it's not going to help Cold M. He does a good job of evading and splitting up Red Team, but that shot comes in, and uh, yeah, Amp's, Amp's difficult to run away from for very long.
take a look at the scoreboard real quick. Pretty much what you'd expect as you've been watching this game. Scores are going to reflect what we've seen, which is SH just having trouble coordinating and, and really knocking Red off of the power-ups. Um, Red team doing a good job of getting there ahead of time. And I think on this map, due to the size of it, it's a good move. You're not really going to control every weapon in this map like you can on, say, a campgrounds. So you're probably better off uh, just, just sort of swinging around for the power-ups and making sure you control those. Maybe trying to catch some spawners in the meantime. What you'll notice is Red Team has spent most of their time on that uh, that front half of the map. That rocket launcher over to, to AMP, up to LG kind of area. They haven't spent a lot of time on the opposite side because it doesn't give you any good angles of approach. They haven't been spending much time in the 50 room. And uh, so I think a lot of those 50s have been going to SH. But, of course, 50 armor doesn't do you a whole lot of good when you've got amp and hundred shooting you in the face, not to mention all these boosters that they've been getting off of those those amped runs. Oh, F51 with the very fringe of a combo there, able to get the kill. We're gonna go ahead and follow him. He seems to be the hot hand. Only heaven only seven headshots. I, I seems to have fallen off in the second half of this match. Let's see if he can get it back in gear and uh you know live up to his potential here. <clears throat> Already boosting, picking up more adrenaline. So F51 pretty much just playing uh, adrenaline carry this game. Oh, another headshot! There we go. It seems like it seems like he's doing the opposite of uh, what your aimbots do. He's actually waiting until I spectate him and then headshotting everybody. So you know, maybe if we stick on him uh, in the next three minutes, we'll get another dozen headshots for us. <laughs> Cold Am just begging to be plucked out of the air there. F-51, though, has to dodge those rockets. Can't get the combo off. Oh, Amp comes up. Cold Am might be able to steal this one away, but he's got a combo waiting for him if he does. And there's the Rampage. Might be able to get a multi-kill here if he can find the spawner. Oh, it doesn't do it. Minigun's going to break him down pretty quickly. Oh, able to get a teammate saver there. We'll pick up this 50 armor, so he'll live a little bit longer, but... Gonna need to track down somebody to shoot if he wants to make anything out of this amp. Oh, amp run's done. Gummy gets shot in the back twice. Looks like he may have had that 100 armor. Lightning, lightning, smiley face. Gonna take it down pretty fast. So the last couple minutes of this one, pretty much academic at this point. Um, I think they're kind of just playing pub TDM at this point. Just trying to have fun with fun with lift jumps and rockets. Pretty much the theme now. See the patient lightning gun shots by F51 doing tons of damage while taking very little. Really good uh, textbook display of using cover in this game. You know, a lot of people don't like to think of uh, of cover in these arcadey sort of fast-paced shooters, but you know, you don't just because you don't use a cover button doesn't mean that you don't have to take cover. And when someone's spamming all that stuff at you, you know, you peek and pop, play a little bit of hide and seek, and that's going to be a much better use of your time than trying to stand out in the middle of an open area and getting dinged while you're trying to hit them. Perfect example right there. F51 getting caught out on the amp. Gummy not able to make a, make him pay for it. Oh, and that rocket, he jumps right into it. F51 down to 40 health, though. This link probably will take him out. Nope, amped rocket to the face. <laughs> Pretty much everything F51 does this game, even when, even the mistakes that he makes gets him kills. So he's just just having one of those games where everything goes right for him, even when it goes wrong. And he's plus 39. And you can see, you know, no other than the headshots, no amazing numbers coming out there. Nine amps is pretty good for him. Nothing amazing with the pickups or the or, or the, uh, the percentages or anything. But like I said, he's been in the right place. He's been fighting with with the advantage, just playing smart. Um, yes. So I'm taking a little damage while doing a lot. And uh, that math is hard to compete with because he's always had the, uh, he, you know, he's had these amps, and he's not paying for the amps. Like we've seen multiple times, he's been able to get away clean with it and make runs on it. And so we've seen some rampages and some dominating. I think I can see what is it, F3? No, oh, that's that's my stats. Uh, I already passed him up, didn't I? Come on, there we go. There you go, see, an unstoppable with two rampages. 
three three uh you know three boosters from this game so F51 really the story of this game and that'll do it. That's going to be the end of this match at the end of round four, which is all of our qualifiers. I believe now uh, they're going to go back and do a little bit of math and figure out which teams are the top two. And I don't know if there's going to be a semi or a third place match, but they're definitely going to have a finals. It'll be in a few hours. We're going to take a bit of a break, give everyone time to rest up and grab some food. Definitely give me a, a chance to, you know, take a shower because it's pretty much rolled out of bed and came over here and started casting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I guess go ahead and end the cast, because I think it's going to be like, alright, it's going to be at 2100, that's Central European time, I believe, which is GMT plus one, so you, you do the math there, it's going to be 21 minus seven, so four, so 2 p.m. Central time, 3 p.m. Eastern, and, uh, we're going to go ahead and, and take a break and cast that, and we'll see you here in a few more hours.